In this video, we're going to be looking at the painting cursor improvements in Rebel 6 1.8 and on. And you can see that I have the shape of the brush right here. As I tip it and push down, you can see that shape has grown to show that tilt is being used to make that brush tip wider. This is really useful information, so I'm going to go through all the different changes that we have available in Rebel 6 1.8. So let's look first at the circle. So here you can see the circle cursor, and this regardless of what's underneath it, we're going to see just a circle when we're painting. Let's look at circle with direction. Now if we turn on pen tilt, we're going to see that direction. So here as the brush tip goes down, and we turn the stylus on the screen, you can see that direction follows the tilt of the stylus. This is matching the barrel direction. Circle with crosshair. You can see it's just a crosshair right in the center, so when you start drawing, it's going to show directly underneath that crosshair. That's where the paint's going to come out. And then we have the option for just the crosshair by itself. Now you can have an option to show the crosshair while painting or hide it while you're painting. So when you're hovering, it's there. And while you're painting, it's there. Show pop-up panel with brush properties when using shortcuts. Let's look at that. So if we press control and we drag left and right, you're gonna have this pop-up panel that says size, opacity, and water. Depending on which brush you're using, it'll say something different sometimes besides water. If we drag up and down, we're going to adjust opacity. If we drag left and right, we're going to be adjusting size. And note that this circle is red. That's an option that we can adjust. So brush resize color right here. If we wanted this to be something different, like blue, then when we press control, we're gonna see a blue line as we drag left and right, and while control is being pressed. Let's change that back to red. And look at the next option. Now here we have an option to override the cursor mode with whatever we choose here. Circle, rectangle, shape, or auto. Circle we've seen, rectangle. Let's choose circle here. Now this is going to be a rectangle instead of a circle which has a little bit more information than just the circle does because you can see which direction the stylus is facing. The shape here, let's switch to a different brush here. You can see the brush shape and you can see the rotation of the brush shape while I'm turning, while I'm hovering. When I push the stylus down, you notice that the brush tape disappears and we see just the crosshair. So let's undo show crosshair while painting. Click OK. You notice that that keeps the brush shape while we're using the stylus, which is, is really nice, actually. I really like that. And auto is going to choose whatever it thinks is the best option for you. So if you're over here using a uh, certain type of brush, this will automatically pick what it thinks. This is the best way to, to show what that cursor, that painting tip should look like while you're using it. And then we have the change cursor shape according to tip tilt. So let's look at that with that turned off. Let's put this on shape. Now with that turned off, you'll notice that when I put the stylus down and I tip it, that the brush shape doesn't change when I'm tilted, even though the actual brush shape underneath, the head is being adjusted by tilt. Let's go ahead and turn that back on. I like that on. And then let's look at our last option here, show paint and blend mode and cursor shape. Uh, this is really cool and really useful information. So here, if we look at the brush shape right now, it's a rectangle and it's got some jaggies on the side. And so if we start drawing here, painting here, you can tell that we're going to paint because the, the outline of the brush cursor is a solid line. Now if we switch from paint or paint and mix mode, if we switch to paint and blend or blend, you'll notice that here 
this is now a dashed line. And this is going to allow us to blend versus paint. And then if we switch to keyboard shortcut five, you notice that erase is now a dotted line even in the cursor shape versus the cursor circle. So you have a lot of information that's being shown to you uh, actively while you're painting, while you're using the cursor so you know exactly what's going on and what's going to happen when you uh, put your cursor, when you put the stylus down. There's not a guess going on. How big is the, the brush going to be? What's going to happen? Is it going to paint? Is it going to blend? Which direction is it going to be? Is it going to be a tilted shape or size? or the regular shape or size. This is a great improvement in Rebel 6.1.8. All right, now there's a little bit more going on here, and I'm gonna show you that. Um, let's select something that's got a little bit more uh, in the shape itself. So let's go into the brush creator. Uh, this shape that we're seeing right here, this is actually a combination of both shapes. So let's expand this out a little bit more. You can see this shape, this grain, this shape, and this grain. The brush cursor is a combination of both shapes here. Now, if you go into paint, you can see cursor mode here. This you can set however you would like. Let's choose shape. And then this threshold, this shows how much opacity is allowed to create the brush head shape. So here, if I go to the left, or if I go all the way to the right, to 10, uh, what this is gonna do is this is going to filter out the uh, lower level opacity pixels that are making the brush shape. Again, this is created from these right here. So if I were to delete one of these, you notice that that's reflected here. And, I go back to paint and I bring this threshold down. What this is going to do is this is going to include more of the opaque. The uh, lower opacity pixels are gonna be included in the brush cursor shape, which is really cool that we have that option. Now, if you have something that is a brush that's basically dots, let's see this gouache here. This one is mostly dots. And so if there's dots that are on the outskirts of this, it'll filter those out um, if you bring this all the way down to one. It's still not gonna have the outside little dots. Same thing here. Bring this all the way over to the right, to 10. It's still going to accurately uh, reflect that even if they're just dots or if they're lower opacity, the whole thing's it's gonna show something. So it's, it's done intelligently so that you have something that you're looking at no matter what. All right, you guys, that is the update to the brush cursor in Rebel 6 1.8. If you have questions, put it in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Stay creative, and I'll see you in the next video.